Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are doing November 2023's monthly oracle card guidance and you have three options. You have the option of the gateway oracle cards which is option number one. We have the queen of the moon oracle which is option number two and we have the answer is simple cards by Sonia Chiquette uh, which is the option number three. Go ahead make your selection you can go directly to your reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, which is the Gateway Oracle Cards um, by Denise Lynn, we are asking the question, what can we expect in the month of November 2023? And what do we need to be cautious about? What is our guidance for this month? What can we expect? What is the energy? And what can we be, what, what is the warnings that, the, that is there for us? Okay, so for those of you who chose an option number one and asking about November 2023, we have four cards here for the four weeks of November. And the first card that we have is planting seeds. So I would say that in the first week of November, as you receive this reading, um, you're going to find that it's important to plant the seeds for what is to come next. In many ways, the energy has begun anew. In many ways, the beginning of November is a new year for, for, the, for a lot of people. Even if your birthdays are earlier on in the year, even if your, um, your semester begins in September or in January, uh, your, the, the energy now is very much a new energy where you can plant seeds uh, which will lead to fruition later on. Now, that doesn't mean that things will come to fruition immediately. For some of us, and for many actually, for those of you who've, who've chosen this option, it's likely that whatever you're planting now will come to fruition in about six months from now. So it's important to plant those seeds so that you can be happy and you can have something to look forward to in five or six months from now. As you come to the second week of November, the card is accepting what is. I accept and embrace my inner majesty. I think it's important to maintain a higher vibration as you go through November because things might not be as active or there might not be as much movement as you would like. If there is movement, it's not necessarily as fulfilling as it can potentially be. And so I think that as you plant the seeds in the first week of November, don't expect there to be returns in the second week of November necessarily. Understand that things have their own rhythms and it takes its own time. And that one needs to be very much in flow with regard to that, which is the card that comes up at the end of November, being in flow. I think w the card of the second week of November, which is accepting what is, is talking very much about maintaining a vibration that you might have had already this year. Being able to raise your vibration once again, being able to do inner work. I feel like the second week of November, for those of you who've chosen this option, is very much about going inward in the second work week. So you might have been doing quite a lot in the first week of November, doing quite a lot of outward work, setting goals, um, planting seeds, as the cards suggest, uh, as well as, you know, taking steps to make you bring your goals to fruition, to bring your dreams into the real world. And... As you come into the second week of November, it might be that you experience a slump in that energy. Or it might be that there's only so much that you can do and that you can't do anymore. And um, I think that the accepting what is is very much not just about, you know, re resigning yourself to what is. It's not 
that kind of energy at all. It's mostly it's mostly about being able to um, accept what is and be completely comfortable with it, be completely at one with it, be completely okay with it and understand your worth, understand your value, understand where you're headed to, understand the forces uh, and, and powers that support you in the journey that you're in. And so the second week of November is very much about being in touch with that rather than resigning yourself to, to what is. As we come to the third week of November, the card is sharing of yourself. Um, I think there's more of a chance for you to be more sociable in the third week of November. Um, the, the card here, the caption is, I'm incredibly, I'm an incredibly generous being. It might be that you feel the need to do some charity work. It might be that you need to be more giving in terms of your family, in terms of your friends. Perhaps you are doing services for others um, without actually planning on doing it. Uh, perhaps you're giving more, just generally speaking. You're able to produce more, give more. And I feel that, um, you know, the, the, the seeds that you planted in the first week of November and in the first, I would say the first 10 days of November is really giving rise to the ability of general, of abundance in your life that allows you to be able to share of yourself, that allows you to be able to, to give of yourself in a way in which you do not feel that you are depleting yourself in a way that doesn't make you feel poorer in any way, but rather it, it gives you, it gives you the benefit of feeling that you've helped somebody. And as we enter the last week of November, you have the card being in flow and the caption is, I am in the flow of the universe. And I think that as you uh, actually uh, reach the last week of November and as you're sailing into December, it's very much this caption here of this woman in this boat um, and understanding that you are in flow, you are in movement. Things may not be moving outside of you. Things may be still. It might take months before certain bureaucratic matters come to fruition or it might take months before you were able to finish a certain project that you've begun or to be able to finish your dissertation or to be able to see the fruits of your labor in the new business that you've begun or in any project that you've put in your efforts however you must understand that as you enter the last week of November and as you're moving into December that you are in flow that you are at the right moment, at the right time, that the universe is supporting your endeavors and that you are moving, even though it may not feel like you are, that there is flow and you are in that flow. And if you feel that you're not in that flow, then I would suggest that you do whatever you need to, to be able to come into that flow. And very often, it's just a matter of simply accepting what is and being at peace with your station in life, being at peace with where you're at in life. It doesn't mean that you got to forsake things that you desire in your life. It just means that you need to be okay with where you're at and have a feeling of gratitude where you're at in order to be able to bring more blessings into your life and bring greater things into your life. So you might be in your mind having set your goals far away from where you're at and yet you are still in the same space and you might find it difficult to feel gratitude for what you have at this given moment. But the advice here is to, to really feel the happiness and the gratitude for what you truly have. And remember that only you can give yourself that happiness. It's happiness is not something that you, you have to, um, that, that's given to you. You need to work on your happiness. You need to create your happiness. So I think here it's about being able to recognize that you have the power, you have so much of power in terms of the way in which you manifest your life, in the way in which you create your life and you have all the tools at your disposal, very much like the magician in the tarot. And you can create whatever it is that you desire and that all of what you desire is creating itself behind the scenes and that you just need to have faith and accept what is and just allow the universe to um, shower you in its abundance.
Okay, so I feel that November is actually a month which is going to be quite a productive month for you. I feel like you'll be able to do quite a lot in this time that you are have a stillness inside of you that allows you to focus and and maintain a particular goal. Um, and you are able to get things done, especially at the first half of the month. And then, you know, the second half of the month is very much about um, your spiritual pursuits. You feeling in touch with the energy of the earth, accepting what is, and being able to tap into that abundance that this energy, that this earth has to offer, as well as the, the universe, you know, all of this space that we're in. I think that uh, November can be a really helpful month in, in terms of being able to get things done that perhaps you weren't able to get done for a while. Perhaps there are some things you've been putting off all year and November is the month where you are able to actually finally get it done. Do that filing, do that, those invoices, perhaps take care of things, um, you know, take things, uh, just reorganize stuff, take things out if you need to and uh, yeah, do donate things perhaps. Uh, just be able to freshen up your life and uh, prepare for the um, for the for, for those of you who celebrate the festive season in December. All right, I'm wishing you all a very blessed November. May you have all that you desire, and may you feel happy, healthy, and at one with the universe. Blessed November to you. And for those of you who've chosen the second option, which is the Queen of the Moon Oracle. We are asking the question, what can we expect for the month of November 2023? What can what are we, do we need to know about November 2023? And what do we need to be warned of? What do we need to prepare for, for 2023 November? Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number two, and we're looking at November 2023, and we have interesting cards here. First, we have the card of change, and representing the first week of November. Then we have the card of trust, then peace, and then resistance. Okay, so what it shows me is that you're going to be going through quite a, a different experience um, in different parts of, of November. I think that as you begin November... You might have come already to certain realizations that there needs to be certain changes, that there needs to be a movement in a particular direction that shifts you and shifts your attitude and shifts the way in which you've approached things until now. I think in many ways there might have been someone or something or some email or some kind of message that came to you in whichever way which indicated to you that perhaps you're living life in a manner that is um, slightly outside of yourself. Well, how do I explain this? It's more to say that, you know, like you're living a life and it's everything's going fine and you think it's going wonderfully. But then if you just step, you know, one make one step to the left you'll be living a life a lot more vibrantly it's almost like you're living your life beside yourself or, or parallel to yourself and that something has has brought you this realization and you are now uh, it might have just been a message from somebody or speaking to somebody or something like this and something has brought you this realization and you understand that there's a lot more 
or there's a different dimension or there's a dimension that's untouched that you're now willing to explore in your life and this brings about the change that you have uh, that is suggested in November. And so in the first week of November, the f I would say the first 10 days of November, you're quite preoccupied with this change and what it is that it entails and how it is that you will uh, implement it in your life. Now, for others of you, it might be that you have been inspired by something in October and this allows you to enter November with a whole new spirit of what work entails, of what duty entails, of what function entails. And so you have arrived at the beginning of November with a whole new perspective and a whole new energy and a certain gusto for life. And so you decide to approach life a bit differently from when the previous months that you have approached life. And so there's a lot more vigor there at the beginning. There's a lot more energy to be able to shift things, to be able to do things differently. And I feel that, uh, you instigate change in your life without even understanding or realizing for some of you that there is change taking place. You just are doing things differently. You're just able to, to, to action things more easily. And as a result, things get done quickly and things fall into motion much faster. And so it's not a matter of, you know, having to struggle to do anything. So I think that as you enter the second week of November, there's quite a, a great need to be able to trust at this moment. And I feel that it's been fueled by the change that you've had. You've created this change. You've done something differently, whatever it is. Maybe it's just that you, you know, you change your rhythm a little bit. You put the dishwasher on the night before rather than in the morning, or you, you do something slightly differently, whatever it is. And that is something that, um, it's, it's allowed you to come to a space where there's a stillness almost inside of you and you're able to trust because of the action that you've taken. You're able to trust because you've been given a reason to trust. And it's also as if you've taken some action here and you need to wait a while. You need to wait a while before you can see the benefits of that. And therefore, the second week of November, I would say from about the 8th till about the 13th or so, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be needing to sit still and just trust. Trust that everything that you've been doing until now is working. Trust that all the changes that you're making, perhaps because you're moving towards somebody and you're trying to show them how you feel, uh, perhaps you just need to trust at this time and and. Whatever it is, whatever changes that you've made in your life, you, you're you required, you're asked to trust. Now, for some of you, that's going to come very easily because you've done the work behind it and you've thought about it quite a lot and you are at ease with yourself with regard to that. And for others of you, you're just going to be, it's going to be like you're thrown in the deep end and you're going to need to trust that it's going to work out. Thankfully, that is just lasts a few days. And as you enter November, the third week of November, what you're going to find is that you have the peace that you've been looking for. And it's no longer about trying to balance the trust that you have and the faith that you have. You have the peace. You are at one. You are feeling happy, perhaps with the decisions that you've taken, the changes that have occurred, perhaps the changes have occurred in your life, not because of your will to make them happen, but because they've happened to you. And so by the third week of November, what you have is you have peace, you have you have a certain uh, wholeness inside of you, and it's you're just feeling okay with you where you're at, and it's not like you're needing something else. It's not like you're wishing to go somewhere else or you're wishing to go in a different direction. You are at one with things, and I think it's a very beautiful place to be in as we enter the third week of November. Um, it's also a sense that you are okay with the world the way it is. You have come to terms with the things the way they are and you can offer yourself the peace that you desire in your life, okay? As we come into the fourth week of November, it's time to change gears again. You know, this year you are gearing down and year you gearing up again. Um, You've come to that place of peace and wellness and 
being whole with yourself. And now it's time to take action again. As you prepare for the, for December and as you prepare for the next month, you're going to find that you need to fight a little bit. You need to be able to push forth push forth with certain things. It might be bureaucratic things. It might be dealing with administrative matters that you need to push with. And uh, there's a certain resistance that you need to offer. You need to be able to stand behind the goals that you've committed yourself to and be able to push forth regardless of the resistance that you'll be facing. You need to be able to be quite clear about where it is that you're headed to and why it is that you're headed in that direction. And to be able to stand for any action that you might have to take. But not just that, but be able to stand up and, and justify or not really justify, but to provide evidence for or to provide reasoning for why you've taken the course that you have done. I feel that uh, the resistance that you have uh, is not just in terms of necessarily uh, showing uh, some others why you've taken a particular course of action uh, or, or pushing forth to gain something that's a bureaucratic matter that needs to be dealt with with authorities. But I feel like there could be some other resistance as well for some of you. It might resonate differently for some of you where you have a resistance within yourself. And so the change that you affected at the beginning of of November, that energy is gone. The trust that you've had, uh, the peace that you have, it might have shifted and you might be facing certain, a certain resistance towards yourself where you're not able to get up and do things as easily as you did at the beginning of November. You're not able to bring things into to flow or action things as easily as you were and it might need you to fight for it. It might, you might have to fight every day to get out of bed and to get things done and to push forth in your projects. You might have lost the motivation and you need to fight in order to, to push that forth. But I feel that uh, regardless of the resistance and the type of resistance that you're facing in November, I feel that as you come to the end of it, there is a light here. You know, there is the sun here. There is this light that's shining upon it. And so there are awards that are going to be um, created as a result of the energy that you put behind the, the, the goals that you have, as well as, you know, this resistance that you have had to face off with and so I think that um, for you November is going to be quite an interesting month it's almost like you start off on a high note and you end on a high note and the in between the in between weeks of November feel like you're in a trough but not a bad trough it's more like you are in a place where you can you you're trusting you're at peace um, it's a spiritual time for you November seems to be a kind of spiritual time for quite a lot of people uh, where where you have quite a lot of action coupled by spiritual work or inner work. Um, in the outsides, you are doing quite a lot, but in the inside, there's a lot of processes taking place and um, a lot of change taking place within you as well. So I think this change is outside of you, but it's also inside as well for some of you. And that inside of you, that change that's taking place inside of you is probably felt during the second and the third week of November. But let me know how it goes and, and uh, write your feedback down in, down in the comment section. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, let me know how November goes for you. I wish you all a very blessed month ahead. And uh, yes, blessings abound from Kismet Rising. And for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we're using the answer simple oracle cards by Sonia Chiquette. And we're asking, what is it that we can expect in November 2023? What is it that we need to know for November 2023? And how can we prepare for November 2023. How can we prepare for what is to come?
Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we're looking at the monthly Oracle card guidance of November 2023. And the cards here are very interesting. And I feel like for many of you, you're going to be having a very similar November because there's quite a lot of similar themes that run through all the different options that have come through. Um, and as far as I can tell, with the energy of November. And one of the, those energies is that um, you're going to begin the month with quite a lot of energy. You're going to begin the month with quite a lot of um, ability to, to do things. And I feel like you are, the card here, it says, be courageous. And it's number eight. Uh, I think what's happening for you at the, at the beginning of November is that perhaps you've taken certain decisions in the past, in the near past, which have put you in a kind of predicament or have put you in a kind of strange position. Some place that you don't necessarily feel comfortable with, something outside of your comfort zone, something where you might have put yourself in a bit of trouble, perhaps financially, perhaps with regard to a certain um, forms that you need to fill or some administrative matter. And or simply with your relations with family members or somebody close to you. And the advice here is to be courageous as you enter the first week of November. There's an acknowledgement of the amount of energy that you have to be able to drive things forward and to be able to make things, uh, to action things and to be able to make things come to fruition. And the advice here is simply to be courageous as you do that. For some of you, it's not a matter at all about having put yourself in any trouble or uh, created any discomfort for yourself, but rather just being able to do something differently outside of your comfort zone has in fact required you to access your courage and to be more courageous, to, to think a bit more deeply, to overcome the fears that you have and to be, to be able to think more deeply about the courage that you do have and understand and uh, kind of excavate yourself um, looking for that courage. And I feel that if you are able to maintain a good st standing with yourself and to be able to uh, maintain an even keel for the first week of November, what you're going to find is that you, you're going to be able to overcome whatever difficulties that you have, okay? So then as you come into week two, you, the card is keep dancing. And I feel that it, this is hearkening back to the energy that you've had sometime in October where you've been very happy and where you are perhaps listening to a certain type of music or perhaps just feeling well with yourself, feeling very happy as if things were moving along. And I feel that as you're coming to the week two of November, perhaps it, you are asked to literally keep dancing or perhaps it is it's asking you to maintain your vibration, keep a high vibration, um, understand that there is there can be joy in your life and look for that joy and if that joy has been out of touch for about a week or two for whatever reason because you've had a change of uh, circumstances because of uh, because of a change of location or something like that just try to uh go back and find that joy and keep it with you keep dancing keep the happiness keep the 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 light vibrations keep life easy don't worry so much don't think too much just enjoy a little bit okay as you come into the second week of November and and keep that energy moving and as you get into the third week of of November it's almost like the first uh set of cards uh the first option where it says you know be be charitable I think the card I don't remember exactly what it was but it's like share yourself I think the card was and yeah it spread the light it's very similar energy in that it's asking you to just give off yourself to spread the light that you have, that you have created here by being courageous, by dancing, by being happy, by maintaining your happiness, maintaining your joy levels, maintaining your vibration and spread that light, share it with others who perhaps haven't been able to uh, be as fortunate as you have been in terms of understanding that you can um, raise your vibration and keep your the lightness of being that you have I think as you're coming to the week three of November, there's a great deal of power that is available to move around and to be able to sh be shared with others. And there's, um, it can feel like the dark before the dawn, but I think that with your assistance and your help and your ability to be generous, you can actually spread the light. And, you know, one might say, well, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to pray for others? Well, yes, you could do that. Are you, what about, you know, just being kind 
to the the cashier or being kind you know to the person who's driving in front of you give them way or just just being just smiling sometimes is enough to be able to make another person's day and in this way we spread the light these are very obvious examples that I'm giving you and of course you will find ways and means to spread the light in your life in your own way okay and it can be as simple or as complex as you like so um and then as you come into the week four of november as you enter into october i mean sorry as you as you enter into december what you might find is that you have quite a lot of niggly things that come up and a lot of matters that need to be dealt with and it can be a bit overwhelming for you it can be that it kind of crept up on you, that you weren't expecting all these things and suddenly you have quite a lot of things to deal with, whether it be uh, administrative matters or bureaucratic matters or, or just little things, you know, uh, perhaps there are fines to be paid, perhaps there are taxes to be done, um, perhaps there's some documentation that needs to be filled out, some license to be um, uh, retrieved or something to that effect. And um, it there's a feeling of, feeling overwhelmed and I think that you know you need to do you may not be in the same vibration as you were in the second week of November where you were able to keep dancing or the third week of November where you're able to spread the light but I think that as you as you come into the last week of November it's important to maintain your groundedness don't sweat the small stuff as the card says and don't don't allow yourself to be overwhelmed by the things that need to be done. Just focus on the bigger picture and do one thing, one step at a time. Don't uh, get sucked in or drawn into a kind of drama with regard to all that needs to be done. Just maintain your courage, keep dancing, spread the light and chill. You know, don't let it overcome you. Um, you need to just have your your foot on it and just be able to understand where you're headed to and what you're doing. you in charge. Remember, you in charge. It's your life. So I think that that kind of energy can also follow you into December and it's up to you to make sure that it doesn't. Um, just pace yourself, do things slowly, uh, take bite-sized pieces and don't do try to do everything at once and that should help you um, maintain the calm and the chill vibe that you have going in November I think also here th th these cards here are very much about the mind it's about you know you being being able to um, pl pluck up the courage being able to maintain your joy levels being able to understand how abundant you are that you are able to spread the light and give of yourself and to be able to maintain your your own sense of um, calm and not be overwhelmed by things. I feel like November is going to be very much in the mind for you and very much having to do inner work for yourself just to maintain that equilibrium inside of you. Okay, but good luck with that and I wish you all a very blessed November 2023 and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.